Now to campaign 2020 and President Trump trying to fulfill a campaign promise just months before he's up for re-election. The promise has to do with Obamacare and the president's promise to get rid of it. But it comes at a tricky time for Republican candidates who now have to explain during a health pandemic why taking away people's health insurance is a good idea. We're going to repeal and replace Obamacare. And I can say all of my employees are having a tremendous problem with Obamacare. It's been a rallying cry for Republicans, helping to propel President Trump and others, including Senator David Perdue, into office. Perdue won the GOP nomination and the general election in part by promising to get rid of Obamacare and lower the cost of health care for Georgians, nearly half a million of whom buy their health insurance through the Obamacare exchange. But now, as the senator runs for a second term... CBS 46 tried numerous times to pin the Purdue campaign down on whether the senator supports President Trump's latest efforts to kill Obamacare, this time asking the Supreme Court to rule the whole thing unconstitutional. But the campaign refused to answer that question. Purdue's opponent, John Ossoff, says Georgians have a right to know where the senator stands. I think it's pretty straightforward, Rick. David Purdue is putting his donors in the insurance industry and his allegiance to President Trump above the health of his own constituents in the middle of a pandemic. It's wrong, it's unethical, it's corrupt, and it's why he's gonna lose in November. The Purdue campaign sent us a statement outlining the senator's support for a bill meant to protect the most vulnerable Georgians, telling CBS 46 News, Senator Purdue fully supports guaranteeing coverage for those with pre-existing conditions. But that bill, the PROTECT Act, becomes meaningless if Obamacare is struck down. If David Purdue had the best interests of his own constituents at heart, and if he had not now been caught trying to take health care away from his own constituents, he'd come on this show and defend himself in person. But instead, he's hiding because he's been caught. Senator Perdue has an open invitation to speak to CBS 46 News about health care or any of the other topics Georgia voters care about. The most recent poll conducted by Fox News, by the way, has Senator Perdue up three points over John Ossoff with just over four months to go until Election Day.